unaware that in the depths of space lurk invisible monsters. Destroyers powerful enough to tear apart our sun and leave our Earth a shattered, burned out ruin. You are about to enter the world of the universe's ultimate killer. We will be there when the monster is created in the heart of a dying star. We will search for its telltale signs in the darkness of deep space. This is the story of the power that may one day destroy us all, the black hole. There's an old saying, what goes up must come down. The thing is, it's not always true. If you throw something hard enough, it might never come down. If something goes up fast enough, it can escape the Earth altogether. Faster still, and it can escape the immense pull of our sun, the force that holds the planets in place. In fact, travel fast enough and you can even escape the pull of the billions of stars that make up our galaxy. The Milky Way. But there is one object out there whose pull is so powerful you can never escape, no matter how fast you go. Not even if you travel at the speed of light. Meet the monster. This is a black hole in action. It is tearing apart a star that has strayed too close. Anything that comes near is destroyed. It's hard to believe anything could be powerful enough to destroy something as big as a planet or a star, but it's true. Let's take a closer look. Put a black hole near something and immediately it starts ripping it apart. There's a star in there, could just as easily be our sun, and it is being pulled apart by a black hole. On this scale, our Earth would be no bigger than a pebble. We wouldn't stand a chance. The shocking thing is how small the black hole is. The black hole itself is right at the center of the disk. It's tiny. It's a million times smaller than the star. Just look what it can do. What is it about a black hole that makes it so powerful? The answer is gravity. It's the force that keeps us all stuck to the surface of our planet. If something's heavy enough, it pulls you towards it. And planet Earth is heavy. 
So heavy, in fact, that to get off it, you have to do this. All of this just to escape from our tiny globe. And if Earth's gravity seems strong, imagine the pull of the sun. Our sun is a million kilometers across. This is the real heavyweight of the solar system. But if you think our sun is big, think again. There are stars out there that are vast. Their gravity is mind-boggling. But compared to a black hole, even this star is a weakling. A black hole weighs as much as a massive star, but it's crammed into an area smaller than a pea. A black hole is gravity gone mad. Nothing can ever escape. What could create such a monster, something so heavy and yet unimaginably small? An event powerful enough to create a black hole should be clearly visible right across the universe. And recently, we might actually have witnessed one, as it happened. It was a team in Australia, headed by Professor Brian Boyle, that spotted it. The first clue that led to his discovery came in the form of radiation, gamma rays, that are invisible to the human eye. The night sky that we can see with our own eyes is only part of the picture. Light comes to us in many different forms, from low energy radio waves to the most highest energy form of light, the gamma rays, the form of light that packs the biggest punch. Every night in the gamma ray sky is fireworks night. We've been detecting violent bursts of gamma rays for decades, but we've never actually seen what causes them. It has to be a violent event, but what kind? The problem is gamma ray bursts only last a few seconds. And to make things harder, the best way to detect them is from space. During a routine observation, the Gamma Ray Observatory detected an enormous blast of energy going off in deep space. What had triggered it? Brian Boyle's team, guided by the Space Observatory, turned their ground-based optical telescopes onto the blast in the hope of seeing it before it had time to fade. The information was relayed down to the ground and the optical telescopes sprang into action to try to localize where this burst of energy had come from. What we found was something we didn't expect, that this light was actually coming from a supernova. What they'd seen with their telescopes was an exploding star. But the explosion was far larger than anyone had ever witnessed before. And in the heart of that cataclysmic explosion, the researchers realized that something astonishing and terrifying had happened. As the massive star died, 
a monster had been born. What we'd witnessed was the birth of a black hole. What Boyle's team had seen was the death of a star so heavy that when it exploded, its entire mass collapsed inwards instead of blasting outwards into space. This star is absolutely huge. It's a hundred times bigger than our sun, thousands of times brighter. It doesn't just explode. As its surface layers blast outwards, its core is smashed inwards. The center of the star collapses in on itself. Billions upon billions of tons of star stuff crushed smaller and smaller until the whole star is squeezed to a single microscopic point. And from the remains of the dying star, a black hole is born. In our galaxy, a massive star explodes and creates a new black hole every thousand years. Which may not sound like a lot, until you remember that the galaxy has been here a very long time. Speeding up its history, you can see that stars will be going off like firecrackers. And when a black hole is born, it never dies. Every black hole that was ever created is still out there, so there should be around 10 million of them somewhere. The question is, where? Until recently, black holes remained unseen in the depths of space. But something as deadly as a black hole can't remain hidden forever. Like most predators, they leave a trail of destruction. And scientists are now beginning to recognize these telltale signs. One black hole hunter is John Eleven. Even though black holes are dark and invisible, it doesn't mean they have no effects. They're extremely strong vortices, and they pull matter in these swirling winds around them, a lot like a tornado. And just like a tornado, you might not see it until the debris begins to get sucked up, like this tornado is now pulling the gases in it. And so suddenly you can see the, the presence of this vortex, this strong swirling wind. It isn't the wind of a tornado you see, it's the havoc it creates. And that's how we detect black holes too, by the damage they do. Even though tornadoes are incredibly powerful, you don't see them until they suck stuff into them, until you see them pulling up cattle and houses and cars and, and gas and smoke and clouds. And it's the same thing with black holes. So you don't see them until they pull in the matter around them.